Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop. I'm S3D, and today we're looking at another uh, custom third-party unlicensed uh, one-six scale closing and head head scope and outfit option set or set. Uh, this one is by Super Duck Toys and Figure. This one is number set zero fifty-seven. Uh, it's actually called Fantasy Citra. Uh, but we know who this character is. It's basically Ares from Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, anyway, this is her base outfit. You can see right here. So, we have the base outfit. I made a previous video which I had to delete. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so the base outfit and then we have the jacket. Looking pretty good. Also have her staff weapon right there. Um, they, uh, believe it or not, they actually did a pretty good job on on the boots. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, so they actually included a separate picture for the boots. So, take a look at that. Um, yeah, this one actually looks pretty good. The head sculpt looks pretty good, too. I don't actually know if they created a whole new head sculpt for this particular figure. The thing is, this head sculpt kind of look like uh, the Street Fighter 2 Kami release. So, I mean, I could be wrong. The nose look a little bit different, but, you know, people are saying uh, it's possible that they reused that head sculpt for uh, airs. So, I mean, they kind of did reuse the head sculpt uh, from another character for uh, Tifa. So... I mean, it's possible, you know, <laughs> because developing brand new head sculpt is kind of expensive. Like putting the hair on a different, uh, on the same face sculpt to make it look like somebody else, it, it's the easiest thing to do. So, and plus, this is like a small company. So, yeah. Again, you're getting the uh, head sculpt and the outfit set. You don't actually get a body included with this figure. So, yeah. I mean, with this one, Probably a good idea to use something else, you know, something that's not particularly, you know, uh, curvy <laughs> uh, for this particular character. I would say, you know, go with something a little bit, uh, you know, more uh, slender for this body type uh, to use with this outfit set. Um, probably the S19 would probably be a good idea. Uh, from PB League, uh, was the S19? Is that the? I think S19 B this the the uh, suntan skin, or it's possibly uh, she could be fair skin. Then you have to go with the S18. So yeah, of course we we're talking about the TB League body. So here are the boots. It's very really nicely done. I still prefer like you know one piece. Instead of like this separate, like you know, uh, realistic materials, because uh, things can easily go wrong with these type of stuff. I mean, like the flaps on top of the boots can get kind of messed up, and also the straps uh, that could get undone, and it's going to be very difficult to uh, fix that. But you know. Uh, I guess they just want to go with a more realistic approach, like other companies will just like make one piece mold out of uh, of shoes and stuff like that. So it makes it easier for people to put on and have, not having to deal with future issues. And of course, it looks like it's pleather material, so you know that could also deteriorate over time. Uh, pleather is actually uh, what's that? The uh, polyurethane. So. It's basically like synthetic plastic over fabric. Uh, that's one of the reasons why they they uh, they deteriorate over time because the synthetic uh, is like a layer of plastic over the uh, fabric, and over time, you know, like the plastic can degrade, especially uh, if you're in humid weather or something like that. Uh, it can like crack and then you know flake. And stuff like that. That's what I learned from uh, doing my research about you know, pleather. 
And the only reason why I know that is because of this guy named Kevin Zane, who runs this fake letter company, who <laughs> also advertises on YouTube. It's freaking ridiculous. But anyway, uh, yeah, so am I looking forward to this figure? Well, this one does actually look pretty good. Um, I have actually people ask me in the email about this figure, and uh, they want to get the option set. So I'm thinking, you know, uh, if I can get it from my distributor, it's probably going to be around the same price as the Tifa figure. I mean, it could be a little bit more because she actually comes with a weapon. If that thing is actually made out of metal, then maybe that will drive the price up maybe at like another five bucks or something like that. Yeah. I, I think I quoted Tifa around 90 to $95, right? So this one's probably going to be like 95 to $100. I mean, it looks good. It looks pretty accurate. I wonder if other come. Oops, there's Fred. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, uh, this is pretty much it for this uh, option set. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, pretty sure you can find these on eBay if I decided not to sell them. Uh, I, I don't know the whole situation right now. I have to reassess my situation about the store, uh, maybe in a week or so, and see if it's still viable to continue doing this operation. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.